Hey, thanks for checking out this short video I've produced about the photograph of Christmas in Oxford. Um, it's probably best if you just make this video full screen if you haven't already. And, uh, and with that, I'll, uh, I'll get on. So, the thing to note is it wasn't really Christmas. It was about a month before. Um, but obviously, the tree is up. Uh, this is in the Bodleian Library's quad. Um, so, I thought I'd just show you some of the pictures that I took on this day or on this evening. Um, so, you get an idea of how this picture came to be. Um, and, and sort of a bit about it. So obviously it's a month beforehand and um, this evening was actually a walk from uh, my house. There's Vicky saying goodbye. Um, along the road, sort of through into town to meet a friend at a pub and, uh, and then we'll just sort of just go down here and here it ends. I'm in the pub as my camera and then uh, Chris, my mate, has just gone to go and get, a, uh, go and get the beers in. So, so the walk took uh, we sort of arrived at quarter to nine and i left at uh, it's just about an hour so in the space of an hour i took um 66 shots um most of which was sort of i don't know quite a few around generally around oxford anyway let's get into the actual pictures and the ones that's relevant so this is the photograph um i shot it on my 35 millimeter lens reasonable ISO but also it's pretty dark and only a sixtieth of a second um, and you can sort of see this, a lot of the detail in the shadow I brought out the lights you know I've, I've worked this photograph this isn't just straight out of the camera um, with sort of balance and, and working out the tones and what's going on in the photograph just to sort of bring out the detail that we want to see through change, making adjustments in Lightroom um, so if we look at some of the other pictures of the quad or when I was in the quad um, first you know clearly underexposed and then sort of walking through massively overexposed to ISO um, you know not not a very good picture and then playing around with the exposure so I'd have been checking on the back of the camera you know I don't like to look at the back of the camera when I'm out shooting but sometimes you just need to to check your exposures and see where you're at um, to make sure you don't have to do too much in post-processing. You, know, you can only go so far before you start to break the image down, which is actually what we see um, uh, here. Like this is, I've pushed this photograph really hard uh, in order to bring out the detail, but of course the quality is rubbish. Um, so, you know, you want to be considering that, or I, I tend to look at the back of the camera in these difficult lighting situations, whereas in general, I try to just walk around and, and shoot. Um, and then I sort of moved on. Um, this is now through the quad. Uh, this, sorry, this is the Radcliffe camera over here. Obviously, a bit of a blurry shutter speed. Not a very good picture. Saw a bike on the side. Bikes generally tend to interest me. Anything like that. Um, so yeah, just some night shots. And if we look before before the quad, um, here's maybe some interest. Um, this is just near the train station. And then sort of walking into town, you know, nothing really going on here. And this is the truth, isn't it? That that ninety nine percent of the photographs are a bit crap, and they don't really show much, or or they're too dark, or or too bright. But every now again, you end up with a picture like this, which I've called Christmas in Oxford. Um, I think it'll look great on your wall. And uh, cheers for watching. Thanks.